What it do, you two? Commander DP reporting at you again today! And today I'm bringing you another top 10. This time, I'm bringing you all my top 10 least favorite human character from Digimon. But before we get into these people, if you are hyped for this list, go ham on that like button as it helps support the series and helps support the channel as a whole. Keep in mind that this list is completely opinionated, so leave your own list of who you feel belongs in this group in the comment section down below. And with that out of the way, let's get into this list, bruh. Damn. So we're at number 10 on this list, because growing up, I was not feeling her as one of the original Digi Destin. I have nothing against her personally, and I think she's a good person. But out of all of the original group, she's just my least favorite. I mean, Joe is more interesting than her, and he's the most plain dude to ever exist. I mean, look at her crest. The crest of love. That's the most boring trait to give to anybody. But hey, I'm not dissing Garudamon's power, but the way she got that power, that just didn't excite me at all. I mean, like, she got that power like, Oh, Beamon, I love you! I love you! Nine. When Rio was first introduced in Digimon Tamers, I mean, when he was officially introduced, I was like, who is this? The trip to the digital world was already complicated when Jerry, Kazu, and Kenta decided to tag along. But at least Jerry's involvement was relevant to the continuation of the plot. The remainder of the season could have completely gone without Rio's intervention. And besides, he is just so unrelatable. I mean, if you have a guy who comes out out of nowhere, is the tamer of a very powerful Digimon, and somehow he has a real world reputation that was not mentioned at all until his debut. I can't say I'm a fan. And having done the proper research, Rio was introduced into the series due to his popularity from the series, <laughs> popularity from several games on the Japan exclusive Wonder Swan game system. Had this system in games reached the U.S., I might have a different perception of him. Not too bad. <sighs> Bringing up number eight is Davis. And so let me be real with you guys. For the longest time, I did not like him. And had I not watched the series over and over and over and over and over again, he probably would have been either number one or number two on this list for real. Davis 100% fit the definition of a gogglehead leader, but he's one of those characters that left a bad taste in my mouth. I mean, like, he leaves a bad first impression. Now, if any of you have seen my top 10 Digimon characters I did a while back, spoiler alert, and pause right now and watch it if you haven't. I'll link it in the description. You know that TK and Kari are my top ten, two favorite characters. One reason I really love these two is because they are obviously meant for each other and my main problem with Davis is him trying to screw all that up, bruh. I have no issue with him having a crush on Kari. My issue comes when he does whatever he can to make him look good and TK look bad. These antics are short-lived, though, and through the season, I have to admit that Davis does grow on me. He does earn the DJX of courage and friendship, and while he started off rocky, he did end on a good note for me. Just don't ever... Ever try to steal my man's girl, or we gonna have some issues, bruh. Sam. Some of you may be wondering, why is Sam on this list? Well, here's our answer. Sam indirectly led to the birth of the Digimon Emperor, or Digimon Kaiser, however you want to call him. Sure, he taught Ken how to blow bubbles. Big whoop. Sam's intelligence and pressure from his parents caused him to become a pretentious dick, which in turn led to Ken's downfall. Even after his death, his influence still haunted Ken, now in the possession of the Dark Digivice, and you all know what followed. Now, the first three people on this list were just characters I either grew to tolerate 
or just flat out indifferent towards them. The rest of the characters on this list, including Sam, that dick, are people I flat out do not like at all. Success. All right, all right. Where do I start off with Yoli? First off, her outfit in the digital world. Bruh, look at that mess. Who thought that looked good? Who in the character department, the character design department, thought a red helmet with a vest and some hammer pants looked attractive? Man, if she appears in the new season looking like that, that has got to go. But that's enough of that. Another reason I do not like her is due to her personality. She's too pushy, too hard-headed, and she's often going to extremes in order to accomplish something. Some might view that as an admirable trait, but if there's no reason for you to go to such extremes, why do it? In fact, she's the opposite of David Davis for me. She had a decent debut, a not so decent middle, and a mediocre ending. And just get those pants out of my face! Yamaki dumb messed up everything for the Tamers in season 3. For the longest time, he would invest a massive amount of time and money to try and wipe out Digimon for good. Even those who meant no harm, like Giamon, Renamon, and Terriamon. He would constantly say that all Digimon are dangerous and children should not meddle in, quote, adult business. It's true that several Digimon escaped to cause problems for the real world. The Davis. But they are almost always settled by Takato and his friends. Yamaki got so obsessed with the sort of digital ethnic cleansing that his juggernaut program opened up a portal to the digital world. But instead of sending the Digimon back, the Davis used it for their own evil purposes. See Yamaki, look at what you done did. You caused the real world to be overrun by giant Chinese digital animals. Thanks. But believe me. It gets worse than this. More. Worse than nearly causing Armageddon is the annoying presence of this guy. Never have I, in my 21 years of life, and nearly that long watching Digimon, have I been so annoyed at a character of a show that is drowned in puns. I have nothing against nerds, geese and those who engage in card games, as I am all of the above. But he makes us look so bad. Maybe it's just me, but whenever he talks, I just wanna punch my TV screen or my computer screen. And why he got a mega level Digimon partner is beyond my comprehension. He annoys me so much that I don't want you guys to have to look at him anymore. On to the next one. Three. Having Cody on this list might be a shocker to some people. I mean, he was a polite, kind, and respectable little kid. Bull crap. In the beginning, all this might have been true, but halfway through the second season, after Ken gave up being the Digimon Emperor and tried to redeem himself, Cody changed too. Whenever somebody even mentions the name Ken, he turns into Mr. Miyagi from the original Karate Kid. He just turned it to a little hater. Nothing Ken does seemed to be good enough, and it wasn't until Ken saved his life that he even considered forgiveness. It wasn't until it hit home that he thought, hmm, maybe this Ken guy is not such a bad guy. Hmm, what is he? Yeah, hmm. Besides, he's just way too serious for an eight year old little kid. Light up, Mini Miyagi. I've watched Digimon Dead Squad only once, but that's all I need to, tell, to talk about the most evil and the biggest douchebag in the Digimon franchise, Akihiro Karada. His debut, of course, makes him out to be a decent character, but once his motives were discovered, I felt like Marcus and I wanted to DNA charge my fist in his face. 
What really drives me crazy is his smug attitude about wiping out Digimon and destroying the digital world. Just because he's afraid of Digimon, he wants to kill them. Bruh, chill. I hate him even more because on the online game Digimon Masters, he always got me running around for him just so he could find a way to wipe out the Digimon I'm killing. I wish you would take Tsuwafimon away from me. Oof. Take my mascot away from me. We're going to have some holy vengeance coming up, coming your way across your face. But there is one more person on this list that I can say without a doubt I cannot stand. Number one. I do not like JP. I repeat. I don't like JP. No amount of words can express the magnitude to which I detest him. To put it simply, he's like a mix of Davis, Yoli, and Cody. He had a rocky start and cop blocking skills like Davis. He's stubborn like Yoli and is a bigger hater than Cody. You know what? I'm gonna break it down just a little bit further for you guys. Digimon is one of those few shows where I avidly promote pairings, and I hate, hate, hate the term shipping. It sounds stupid. Like TK and Kari, I'm in full support of Takuya and Zoe. And like Davis, JP tries to step in and mess up a perfectly good formula. No, no, no! I get, I can't take that sitting down. I get a crush. But well, you also gotta know when someone isn't meant for you. That's a conversation for another day. This cock blocking trait honestly makes him pathetic in all seriousness. Some of you might be saying, Uh, well, he's had a rough past, so he's justified for acting the way he does. Yeah! Listen, I understand that things in the past affect the present and the future, but acting like a dick and a stooge there's no way to fix what happened to you a long time ago. Sure, these traits have dimmed down some, but his character left such a terrible taste in my mouth that all the press crow health in the world won't fix that. But he's spared of also to beat him on a mega metal called Uterimon. I have less of an issue with him, but in every other instance, nope, goodbye, get him out of my face. And with that note, that's gonna conclude this top 10 list. And for those who stuck around, remember that this is only my opinion. You can agree with me, or you can disagree with me. And if you feel like I left some stuff out, leave it in the comment section down below, along with your own list of your 10 least favorite characters. And if you like what you saw, or what you heard, go ham on that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe for some more Digimon coming your way. I'm Commander DP, and I'm signing off.